Hey everybody, Cool Pika here, and welcome back for more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last part, we have made our way into Skyview Temple and, and hopes of searching for Zelda. And in this part, we are going to proceed more into this dungeon, hopefully finding Zelda. To start things off, we will be... Last time we've raised up all the water levels, so... The only other ways we can go is over here. First off, we can shoot these spiders. So they're out of the way. Alright. Got a little staircase here. And then we go in here. As you can see, we're on the other side of this room we entered previously, and we got a spider over here that wants to kill us. Now, we have to kill this. Okay. We're gonna play keep on the birdie again. It's the same thing before, but however, we cannot open those eyes yet because, um... That spider's in the way, so... I've actually had trouble trying to take this spider out. So this could be a bit tricky. Although, I kind of want to bet money I'm going to get a game over. I've gotten... Oh, I've literally gotten game overs on this. I think the best way to get them is if you... Oh, this... Okay. Not gonna lie, I actually had trouble with this boss. Actually, not boss, but this monster before trying to kill it. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh. I have to be really careful here because I could kill myself. I don't make the right. So far, I'm not making good moves here. I... Oh, crap. Come on. Oh, oh. Well, looks like we've got our first game over. So, eh. Okay, so apparently we got ourselves a game over because I apparently don't know how to kill a spider. I mean, of all things I get a game over on, it's this one specific. Just. Wow. Wow. Just wow. It's just wow. All right, that's enough bat rum messing around. There we go. Yep. Oh yeah. Oh, there we go. That's more like it. Yep. There we go. Let's let's play a game again. Keep your eye on the birdie. Keep your eye on the birdie. The birdie's that way. Oh, he. Oh, they were concentrating too hard. <sighs> yeah. In all seriousness. Of all things that gives me a game over, that spider seems the one that got me a game over. Probably nothing else in this game. Dang motion controls. Anyways, yeah. Actually, I actually had this on my first happen on my first playthrough as well. Where of all things that gave me a game over is the spider that gave me the game over. Usually I'm pretty good. I mean not a boss. Not like a real hard boss fight, but like a spider specific. I don't even know why that is. <laughs> then again, we're all working with motion controls, so that's kind of the case here. It probably wouldn't be the case if we're playing like Twilight Princess or something, because um, motion controls are pretty simple. <laughs> and with that, we can now actually head inside this door here. And prepare for an amazing scenery change. Yeah, just take it in, Link. Just take it in. I just, I just like how we just started from Simple Forest Temple, and then we get like this huge, amazing view here. It looks pretty gorgeous. That looks pretty gorgeous. 
pretty amazing. And so with that, we actually have a crystal that we can shoot, so why not shoot that crystal right there? And our doorway is opened. First we'll kill you. And we're gonna head inside this place. And with that, looks like we're trapped in and... All right, well, looks like we got our little first boss fight here. And of course, this is a Stalfos. The skeleton soldier is born from the dead. In his previous life, it was an ordinary knight, but Undeath has improved his combat abilities. Hi, I'm sure you'll call it Undead. It's possible to be overpowered with a well-timed shield bash during the creature's attack. You have to defeat Zero this... Okay, so, yeah. Now like, now like with most of these enemies we face so far, depending on the sword angles, that's where you want to attack it. That's how you want to attack it, so... You want to pay careful attention here. And by the way, I like this theme for some reason. It's just so catchy. Yeah, I'm just gonna let you listen to it real quick. Yeah, that music's pretty cool, so... Yeah, all I basically got to do is... Pay attention to the sword angles and... Killing it and... He's dead. And with that, a treasure chat was popped up there. In the middle of this room. For beating him. Now let's see what's inside. And we get a beetle. An unexplained power that could obtain within this instinct is a shakedown that allows to control it as it flies through the air. Point the Wii remote to the screen and press A to launch it into the air. If you continue to feel an alignment, press the down on the D-pad, pointing the Wii remote at the center of the screen. You have acquired a new item of analysis of the object instinct like its profile with wings indicates that it can fly. Tilt the Wii remote to a remotely piloted device that shows structures on the point device that can service rise and blow smaller objects. To launch the device, press B and ready to take off and press A. Okay, so with the beetle, as you can see, we are trapped inside, so we have the only option we can do is use the beetle, take it out of this opening right there, and fly out to see if we can find get our way to get ourselves out of here. And also, it could shut down any web like scenes, so what's that? You can actually get out. I like how the music goes silent for a bit. And pretty much all you have to do. And also, this item was in Super Smash Brothers as well. And it is a very cheap item in Smash Brothers because if you throw that thing at an opponent, opponent, you cannot escape from the beetle. It will just take you. It is just instant death if you get attached to the beetle because it will take you up in the air and you just die. It is a very cheap item in Smash Brothers. <laughs> But I bet a lot of you guys know that. Then again, you competitive players out there, I don't think, I don't know a lot of people that actually use items really because I know a lot of people like you don't usually like to use items. Which, I personally sometimes use items, but huh, not, I don't get to use items that very often. Oh, I missed an opportunity to the fr I missed an opportunity to the fatal blow. Yeah, we actually first played a blow in the game. Sweet. So anyways, now that we have our beetle, we can actually do more stuff here. First off noting, we can now break web stuff and break dude's boxes hanging from the webs and we can get stuff from it. Like we got a 20 ruby over there. And also, over here, we have a, we have a piece of heart. As a matter of fact, our first piece of heart in the game. Yeah, our first piece of heart spawns here in, a in this dungeon. So, what do we have to do? As you can see, we cannot get it right now. But however, 
we have to fly up here with our beetle. And you can see that there's a window opening right there. And if we can get there in time... Hit this crystal right here, and... The cage to that will open. And when we get inside, we have... Our piece of heart. And I believe this is the only piece of heart you can find inside a dungeon. This is the only, and I, as far as I know, this is the only one you can find in a dungeon. And min, so yeah. And with that, said I want to see what's inside that box there. Box. Can I get it? Yes, no, maybe. Yeah, you know, maybe I'm... I guess, uh, I'll leave it alone for now. First, let's get this guy out of the way. Oh, what the f- <laughs> He's scared of the beetle! Look at the guy! Oh! That- That guy, that Bulkin right there, he's like, scared of the beetle. Oh. Did it draw something? Guess not. Oh, it probably did draw something. I probably missed the treasure. Great. I couldn't gotten a bolt. I could have gotten a skull from that. That's kind of disappointing. Okay. Oh, we can actually chop the box. Let's chop the wet here. Oh, what? Oh, it, we, it spawned a fairy. I thought it spawned absolutely none at first, but yeah. I guess we'll take you. Come on. Come on, little guy. And we got a fairy. As you may know, any, anyone, a typical Zilla fan should know this. Fairies, they will store six hearts, but however, if you die, they can revive you. So yeah, that's also, that's pretty useful and all that. So with that, um, however, I don't really use fairies that often, so that's very useful if you need some. And here, um, we got some rupees right there, so it's nothing worth mentioning inside those hallways. Point two, to see if we can find stuff in here. Right now, we're just looking through the inside this place to see what we can find. Nothing else worth mentioning here but a red rupee. Alright, now let's go in here. And let's see what's inside. More of those glowing mushrooms. Oh, oh, it hit a mushroom. Okay, let's just see. Let's get back up there again. Okay, yeah, there's nothing there. Move on elsewhere. Okay, now we're gonna be... Oh, there's a lot of more money. Huh. Okay, there's nothing worth mentioning in there. It's a bunch of mushrooms. What says in there? Um, what do we got in here? Okay, we got an ember relic. Oh, and another ember relic again. Well, that's cool. That's nice and all. Okay, now in this room, there's another bird stat- there's another dungeon statue over there, and a... Now these guys, you can kill easily. You can just slice them off, and in here, we got a crystal. And with that, that opens a door. 
so where we need to proceed on now is in here. Alright, so where we get our net? Huh. Okay, so we got this little stairways here. Oh, okay, we're trapped inside. Let's see you inside here. Okay. Apparently, don't have what I think. Apparently, don't have what I think is gonna show up here yet. Guess I was wrong. That opened our way back up. Now, for the eyes, we have to do something to make sure, in order to make this work. At least a certain position. Now we need this crate right here in order to actually get the eyes to go in the right directions you want to go. So welcome to Keep Your Eye on the Birdie Round 3. Alright. So we need to push this metal crate in a certain angle right here. We'll have to push it right here. And... Good right here. Yeah, I think it's good right here. Yeah, see, now we got three eyes. Okay, um, no, our crate is not right. Now, now all eyes can notice it. Let's play keep your eye on the birdie. Keep your eye on the birdie. Come on. Ah. And they focus too much that their eyes explode and then fall down. Turn into dust, okay. And we got another treasure chest inside here, and what do we got inside? Let's see what's inside. And we got another small key. As you can see, we've already seen another small key around here, so as of course to be one of those rooms back in the main back in the main room over there. As you can see, there's more stairs over there, but however you go up there. But, however, if you go over this web, the crystal and the water rises. So now we can swim our way up there and climb the stairs and head on our way. See a spider, we're not gonna deal with you. Later, Mr. Spider. So we got ourselves a little shaft right here. And that took us back to where we started. Those rooms kind of confused me over there, to be honest with you. And with that, we were making our way out of here. Alright, what's... Okay, so we got to go over that room over there, and that's where our next key is. But first, to deal with these, we first we'll just slice these guys up so we don't play more. We fit. Oh, oh I missed the rope again, did I? <laughs> I really know how to goof things up in the let's play. That's for sure, all right. So far, Link's doing so good. Oh, come on, Link. You're so close to making the Wii Fit. I mean, you're so close to being pro Wii Fit. Come on, Link. Surely you're getting fit enough. I mean, you're fit enough to love doors by not being good with balance. Okay, we trapped ourselves in again. All right. And here we have another enemy here. Here we have what we call a... Daldra. It is basically like a three-head dragon scene, whatever it is. Now, what we have to do is, um, you have to sleep, you have to figure a way how to slice all three heads at once. If you slice two or one head, then they'll just regenerate. However, like, like what it did right there, however, we have to do it all at once, so the best method is right, spinning, tacking, or 
So we might not get this in the first try, but we can see what we can do. Oh, look, we're so far we're not. So good. Oh wow, we actually we actually did it. Huh. That actually worked out well more expected. Uh, yeah. These could be if you're not so good with motion controls, these might be the trickiest enemies to take out. So just keep that in mind. Especially me because I'm not so good with motion controls either I'm dead. And, oh, 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 whoa, uh oh, uh oh. What was I thinking there? I definitely screwed that up. I don't even know what the heck I just did. Okay, so we can't continue on this way, but however, we can go over there and hit this crystal and then. An area that was blocked in our way before, we can now access. So with that, we can now head on that way. So now we can go ahead and leave this place and head on out. Alright. So with that... Okay, we should be heading on our way. Huh. Oh. What else should I want to talk about? What the heck? What am I doing? That's not the way I'm supposed to go. No, that's not it at all. What am I doing? Huh. Okay, so by the way, um, you know how I'm fairly annoyed with Fi and all that when I act like shut up Fi? I mean, yeah, she is annoying, but however, I, for one, she may be annoying, but she isn't really that entirely annoying. Well, probably she is annoying, but huh. I don't entirely hate her though. I mean, Fi, I'm... But uh, there is actually some stuff I actually do like about Fi. I like how she makes these silly calculations on what will be good and what good or not. It's I actually find that kind of silly. Like, I, there's like a 90% chance that you'll do this and yada yada yada. I mean, it's like... I find that kind of hilarious, to be honest with you. So with that, we see a big door over there. Oh, it's gonna be one of these scenes where we got to take out this guy. Okay. Control, control this guy. He's this guy wants to take us out. Oh, uh oh. Oh, he's calling in an army. He's calling in an army. He's gonna be. Oh. What? How did they get here? How did they get here? Get off, get off, get off, get off. Die, fall, 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 fall to your doom. Join your friend. See ya. Sure showed them. Show those green pigs. Here we are. There's an- Oh, what the- Oh, my, you've got to be kidding me. Well, at least I don't have to do the type or type again. And over here, we just got a small chest dress right here, and what we got here is a 20 rupee. So that's going to be cool. And as you can see... This door is locked tight and will not open. I detect Zell's order. There is a high probability she is beyond this large door. But however, we cannot open it. So we have to find a key. So the best place to go is over here. So since there's really no other else, nowhere else we can go. This place is the only place we haven't checked. And plus... And we gotta put our Tarzan and this is where we put our Tarzan skills to action, guys. Let's let's see if our let's see if we pass our ace as, a tar as our Tarzan skills. I surely hope I do. And with that, we got more ropes over there, more ropes ahead. Jeez, we're really our Tarzan skills are really being put into the test here. 
so this is going to be interesting. Alright. Uh, okay, so what's that? We got day taken. Let's make our jump. Leap of fate! Fate is going to allow us to see if we can make our way over to that treasure chest over there. Can we make it? Can we... Can we make the jump? Can we make the jump? I don't want to gamble. Oh, no, no, no! Fate, you have failed me again! Fate has failed me! Come on. Come on. Come on. Damn. Oh yeah, I made it! Yes! Oh, okay, yeah, oh man! Jeez, that'd be scary! Whoa! Dang, we made it! And anyways... You thought we have a boss key or a big key, Zelda fans, but this time... We got something different here. Golden carving. It's like a sculpture. So we are going to be doing things a little bit differently here, as you can tell already. Oh. Okay, um. Probably making a bad jump here. Okay. So. With that, we have pretty much made a lot of progress during the dungeon. So next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, we shall be heading on to that door. See you guys then.